In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this $60 PC gaming kit from Walmart. Roll that intro. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're going to be doing a product review, something that I saw when I was shopping at Walmart and I was like, that's 60 bucks? Let's take a look at it. So it's Walmart's computer brand or technology brand called On, spelled with two N's and a period because why not? And this is their gaming starter kit. It comes with a keyboard, a mouse, and a mouse pad, and a pair of headphones with a microphone on them. So let's go ahead and just briefly look at these things and then go ahead and delve deeper and see whether or not this is worth the price tag of $59.99 because in some ways it may actually surprise you. So getting started, before we jump over to the mouse and the keyboard, let's talk about the mouse pad. And, you know, judging by the price of a decent mouse pad and we, you know, if we calculated cost in of everything for this to all be under 60 bucks, I think it's gonna be really hard to beat this bundle. And the reason why is because when this is not your average small mouse pad, this definitely doesn't make up for a majority of $60 of the cost, but it is a quality knit mouse pad. It's pretty slick, not too rough. And it also has grips all over the back. So that is really nice. And if, with it being extra large, uh, it's gonna be great if you plan on playing some video games or something and you need to be able to move that mouse around quite a bit when you're trying to aim. So moving from the mouse pad, let's move to its best friend, the mouse. This mouse is okay. It's not bad, but it's not anything to, you know, blow your mind. It has decent left and right click. It does have a thousand hertz polling rate and you have DPI switches here on the mouse. Now, everything besides the click on the left and right mouse buttons pretty much sucks. The scroll wheel is pretty awful. The click on it is almost non-existent. You can barely feel it. And the DPI switches feel kind of mushy. And then whenever you get over to these side buttons, they are super mushy and that just kind of sucks. But for once again, this price point, this mouse isn't bad if you don't have anything else to use or if you're just using like a cheap laptop mouse or the mouse that came with say a pre-built desktop computer. This is better than that, but this is definitely not equivalent to something that's like 40 to 60 bucks. Like you probably could even get a mouse for 20 to $30 from reputable brands like Logitech and other companies out there and get a better quality. But it also does feature some RGB LEDs. You can set that in the software. We'll talk about the software in just a little bit. But yeah, as far as that goes, it is one of the more standout-ish items in the box as well as the mouse pad. Moving over to the next item, that is going to be the On Gaming Keyboard. This right here is a barrel, a basket, a bucket of disappointments, whatever you wanna call it. It sucks. If you've got a keyboard, it's probably better than this. If you're using a laptop, this might be better, but in most cases, it's probably not going to be. It you know, features a standard layout of keys and by no means is that bad. It also has an integrated wrist dress, which I actually kind of like. It's kind of subtle. It looks good with the design. If we're gonna talk about being all plastic and cheap plastic a design, but yes, it, the outline of this looks pretty decent. And something I didn't mention about the mouse is both of these also have a nice braided cable and that's pretty cool. But yes, the keys are by no means a mechanical switch. They are definitely membrane and they are some of the worst membrane keys that I've ever used. This membrane sucks and it's not great. Talking about RGB, that's where this gets a little confusing for me. If you're making this for gamers, gamers really like RGB or most of them do. And you made the mouse RGB. Why would you not make the keyboard RGB? Yes, it does have LEDs and they do light up and you can cycle between them, but it does not feature RGB. It's kind of weird. You get a red light and you get a green light and you can mix those together and get a hardly more than orange yellow. It's kind of in there somewhere. So it looks awful, but yeah, you can also turn it off. And if those colors don't match the color scheme you're going for or match your mouse, well, then that kind of sucks. 
So before we get over to the last thing, which is the headset, I do want to talk about the software somewhat briefly. I was very surprised to see that there was software for this mouse and keyboard at all. Well, actually that's not true. It was only for the mouse, which then again, if we're talking about the corners that were cut with this keyboard with the awful keycaps, the bad plastic housing, and just the weird inclusion of not having a blue LED to give it the just full spectrum of RGB, it's where it kind of cuts off. The disc, the installation disc, even says for streaming gaming kit, or not streaming gaming kit, but for the gaming starter kit, that it only works with the mouse. And what I think is really unfortunate about that is they also sell a gaming keyboard that is mechanical and it has software for it. Why not just let this be a cheaper version and still include the RGBs and give people the control of that in the software? The mouse is actually really good. You can do a lot of customization in there. You can set up macros and even rebind the keys and set up profiles and stuff for the DPI switches, which is really nice and something I would definitely have not expected out of a whole kit that cost 60 bucks. So software for the mouse, it's pretty good. And for the keyboard, well, it just sucks because there is no support for it whatsoever. And my only thoughts is maybe it's a ploy to try to get you to upgrade to the mechanical keyboard, but I haven't seen where this mouse is just sold separately and it just seems kind of weird. Would you expect me to buy this and then make my keyboard that I bought in your kit obsolete just to have two things working in your software? Seems kind of weird and I'm not that much of a fan of it. But let's go ahead and move over to the last item, which is the headset. This headset is confusing to me for a few reasons. One, it is entirely plastic, and yes, I expected that. That's the theme. Everything here is very cheap plastic, but I do have to say the construction of them, as long as you're not slinging them around, they all seem like they'd hold up pretty decently. Now, if you drop them in the floor on like a concrete floor, they're busted. Um, I would expect that to happen. But one thing surprised me with this headset is that it's actually pretty comfortable for something that is all plastic. It doesn't have really bad clamping pressure, probably because it's cheap. Uh, so it doesn't feel like it's squeezing my head, but the ear cups aren't bad. And, you know, they actually kind of somewhat go around your ear. It's like a mixture between on ear and around the ear, but it works pretty well. So the headset is not bad in comfort. Now, I'm going to skip the audio for a reason. The microphone is pretty good, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and play some sound recordings now so you can listen to it, because I was actually kind of blown away by how the microphone sounded on this headset. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. So yeah, I think it sounded pretty decent for, you know, this whole kit and the mic on this headset was pretty crazy. Better than some, you know, $100 headsets I've had before in the past. Uh, keeping the trend going, we also have a braided cable as well. And we also have this mute switch. So you can mute your microphone on this and you can also adjust the volume coming into the headset. Then the other end of the headset, we have a microphone and a headphone jack. So you can plug these in independently if you needed to. It also comes with this adapter to a just headset port. So if you had a laptop that only had one port that supports headset mic or headphones or microphones, you can plug that in and you should be good to go. So the one thing you probably already caught on to is how does this sound? Well, since I mentioned everything about it, it's either really good or really bad and I've already hinted that it's bad. These headphones sound awful. I've purchased 10, $15 headphones on the internet before just whenever I needed something super cheap when I built my first computer, which a kit like this would be really neat. But the headphones were super uncomfortable from that headset, but they actually sounded okay. These sound awful. Anything that gets loud or any kind of bass just sounds super muddy and distorted and you can't really tell what's going on. If you're playing a video game, let's say something that's got some really awesome music like Halo, you will easily be let down by how awful it sounds and that just sucks. So yeah, if you like the features of it, but you're okay with having bad sound. This headset might be for you, but if you are looking for decent sound, maybe this headset and the kit's not the headset for you. And maybe you just use a pair of like Apple earbuds or some other headphones you have laying around until you can get up to upgrading these headphones. 
So what is my conclusion? Well, this set cost $60. And if we break that down to the four items we have, that puts everything roughly in the $15 price range. Now I say roughly because obviously your mouse and keyboard probably took more materials to make than a mouse pad and the mouse pad's probably super cheap, even though it feels like really good quality. So what, what do I think? I think the mouse pad's good. I think the, or I think the mouse pad's great. I think the mouse is pretty good. And I think that the headset is awful. And the only reason why I can say it's awful is because the audio just sounds bad. Uh, the keyboard on the other hand, I mean, it at least is a keyboard and does what it needs to do. Now it's nothing flashy and the RGB kind of just sucks because it's lacking the B, which who knows why that was a design there, but you know, the keyboard isn't that great. It's mushy, it doesn't feel fun to type on, and you know, the headphones aren't that good. So you get a good mouse out of it, you do get a mouse pad, and you do get some headphones that you can temporarily use and a keyboard that can hold you off until you decide to upgrade stuff. If I was to get this, I would say the keyboard and probably the headphones are the first two things I would upgrade. And if you're really into gaming, probably gonna be the headphones because they're just awful. So if you already have a pair of headphones, then go ahead and try to get that keyboard replaced sometime within the next few months. But for 60 bucks, I have to say, it's decent. I'm not going to say that I would recommend it for everybody. If you are very picky with your gaming peripherals, this is not the set for you. But let's just say you just built a budget computer and you're like, hey, I need peripherals and I don't wanna spend an arm and a leg. This might be the route to go for you. Hopefully this was somewhat useful for you in deciding whether or not this is a product that you want. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And if you wanna further support the channel, then think about becoming a member today to get early access to posts, polls, videos, and other stuff that other people might not get to see because they're not a member. So. Yeah, that really helps us out a lot. Thanks to all the members that are currently on screen. You guys are super awesome and thank you for supporting us. Also check out our merch. Be sure to add us on Twitter or Facebook and let us know that if you picked up some, cause that'd be super cool. Also members get a discount on merch. So maybe if you're thinking about picking up some merch, become a member, you know, good idea. Um, also go ahead and check out our community discord link down below. We've got over 8,000 people at this time on there and it's a great place to share your videos, live streams and stuff in the appropriate channels and collaborate with other people and you know stay up to date with how to tech news so yeah guys that's gonna be all for this video this has been chad from how to tech helping you take your tech to the next level and i'll see you guys in the next video